I'm back in the kitchen. Your girl's back in the kitchen. I'm trying to regular intro. <laughs> chicken burrito bowls. They're great for meal prep and I make them probably every single week. <laughs> Jacob can vouch for me. Say something! I mean, not every single week. Okay, fine, but at least every month. I make this quite often. Yeah, this is one of your more, more popular ones that you do and it's really great because we can just have meals for the whole week. And I have posted this on Instagram before. Follow me. But I actually have never done a video on it, so I figured might as well do it just because it really is so easy and you can customize it however you want. But I'm gonna tell you what I do and maybe this can inspire you to do some more meal prepping of your own. Because we all know that there's not enough time in the day. <laughs> oh my God, do not hold your knife like that while you, while you do this. <laughs> We're gonna talk about what I have on my counter right now. I have some chicken, of course. If you don't eat chicken, I respect that. I'm eating chicken right now, don't judge me. But the thing is, you can replace this with tofu, with something else that's, that's vegetarian. I, I mean, honestly, because we have black beans, you get your protein from that. But I like to add black beans because I love black beans. And for you meat lovers, you can replace the chicken with turkey, like ground turkey. Ground turkey, you can with use- With steak. Steak? Jeez, if you want to be a bougie bitch, go for it. Um, so fritas? Fajitas you could put in here too, actually. Fajitas. Oh. Damn. All right, what else we got? But yeah, we have your chicken. We have bell peppers. I got myself a red onion. It's a big one. Um, I have some salsa. I got some hot pico de gallo. Mm. Black beans. Rice will be your base. And I have some seasoning that I'm going to use. Um, I recommend getting taco seasoning. It's not pictured here because I, I ended up not getting it, which is totally fine. I'm using this um, Julio seasoning. This is from South Texas mm -hmm. and it's great. Pretty sure it has MSG in it, so. Yum. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> These are optional toppings. You can add cheese if you want, or if you're trying to cut dairy out of your diet. I get it, whatever, don't put it in. We have avocados here. And I have half of a lime. I don't know where the other half went, <laughs> but oh well. So that's for uh, your garnish and stuff. If you have cilantro too, that's also really great. If you have green onions, really, you just, all you have to do is make your chicken and your rice. And these veggies, I think, are pretty crucial. Mm -hmm. And put in whatever else you want. I was gonna say you could really you could really mix it up. I you mean, you put corn instead of green chilies. You probably put potato in it, right? Like some, uh, mm. maybe with Mexican. See, this is why I'm in the kitchen. Jacob's not. <sighs> Two pounds of chicken. I'm gonna use half of. Oh, we're good. So what I do when I usually cook chicken is I like to slice these chicken breasts in half. I don't know why, but they're so damn big. So what I'm gonna do is, oh god, and I just got new knives. Like fuck me up. That was so smooth. That was like cutting through butter. <clears throat> Porn. Two portions right there. Okay, so there you go. We have our chicken. So I'm putting the chicken to the side because we're. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut up everything. So our onion and our bell pepper right now. I just started prepping my rice. I put a cup, no, two cups of jasmine white rice. You can use brown rice, whatever kind of rice you want. Um, just follow whatever the instructions say on the rice packet or whatever. Um, and yeah, as long as you have two cups of rice, you're good to go. But I put salt and olive oil inside my rice cooker and I'm just gonna let that chill. So I just washed off my knife and my cutting board because we don't want that raw chicken juice on our veggies. It's kind of gross. I'm gonna start cutting up my bell pepper. I'm taking off the butt in the head. So what I want is Thin strips like this. So you want to cut it Julienne style. Julienne. Do not cut your fingers. Okay. No, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. I'm just gonna die. <gasps> Do I look professional or what? <laughs> I'm, ah! I cut myself. Kids, be careful. You actually? Yeah, I did. <sighs> Safety first. 
Safety first, guys. You know what that means. We're about to cut up an onion. Yep. Can't stand it. Yeah. This is pretty easy too. Usually people are like, how the fuck do you cut an onion? Like dice an onion, but I feel like this is gonna be pretty simple. You're, we're literally just, since we wanna have it julienned or whatever, like that, we're just cutting it like this. And once it spreads apart, it makes these- Onion rings. Nice little, well, half onion rings. Half onion rings, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take out these little bits. I kind of just want like the long stringy bits, so. Okay, so now we're taking our pan and we're gonna cook up our veggies. So we're gonna have it on a medium heat. We're gonna let that heat up and then we're gonna put our veggies in that we just chopped up. So our bell peppers and our onions. Okay, so our pan is heated through. I'm gonna put a glob of olive oil in there. And we're gonna take our veggies and just Plop it in there. Plop it. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. This is good. Jacob's up close and personal. He's like on the cap. He's like on the cap. <laughs> so we're going to let this cook down to where it's pretty limp. Lack of a better word. So I don't know. Um, Wilted. Wilted. <laughs> yeah. There you go. So the, the onions will be pretty like stringy and stuff. Caramelized, if you will. So flaccid. Flaccid. Yes. You want some flaccid onion. So while our veggies are cooking, I'm just gonna season my chicken. I'm using a taco fajita seasoning right now. Give me that MSG. MSG is good for me. What are your thoughts on MSG? Please tell me in the comments. Madison Square Garden, it's a good play, place to play basketball. Shut your fucking face. <laughs> okay, so. The onions are flaccid as fuck. Okay, so we're gonna put that to the side. I'm gonna put this on a plate and I'm gonna use the same pan to cook our chicken. So we get all of those, not really juices, but whatever flavor like in the chicken that was in the onions and the peppers. You get what I'm saying? Veggies to the side, pan is still on the heat. We're gonna put a little bit more olive oil in the pan and we're gonna Put the chicken in. Put it down, seasoning side, directly in the pan. And we're gonna take the seasoning that we had and sprinkle it on the other side. So I cut the chicken in half because it actually cuts down the cooking time significantly. So that's a good little tidbit to know. If you can see like the white kind of creeping up towards the middle of the chicken, it's pretty much ready to go. Ooh. I'm gonna turn down the heat a little bit and let it kind of cook through evenly. In the meantime, while that's cooking, I'm gonna open up my black beans and drain out the juice. I've shown this in other videos before, but I like to make like a little I like to cut it about halfway and then dump it over the sinks to get all the nasty juice out. That's all right. Not, not too far off. <laughs> oh man. That's a bad sign when the pit just falls out. Oh shit. Just throw that one away. Bye, avocado. <laughs> okay, I just scooped up some rice. It's very hot as you can see. Um, so be careful, kids. So now we're gonna assemble. So I'm gonna get some of my veggies. Put it in a corner. Next, we're gonna take some salsa. And then we're gonna take some black beans and some chicken, some avocado, and last but certainly not least, some cheese. Boop, 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 boop. Just squeeze that lime over and literally, coupon, hello. 
So this is the chicken burrito bowl. You have mixed veggies, avocado, pico de gallo, black beans, some seasoned chicken, some pepper jack cheese on a bed of rice. It has so much flavor and it's so good and it really is so easy to make. Um, I'm gonna eat this now and then the rest of my rice and my chicken and my veggies, I'm gonna pack it up in a Tupperware and um, we're gonna eat it for the next two to three days, <laughs> which is great because, you know, you do it all in one time. That's the beauty of meal prep. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I hope you're ready because I have some plans for you guys. Well, for myself to show you guys. <laughs> I have my recipes coming down the pipeline and I'm gonna be posting them pretty soon after this is live. Um, but you know the drill. If you make this, let me know. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more stuff from me. And uh, hopefully next time Jacob will be shirtless. I'll catch you next time. Bye guys.